Hello guys and welcome to another video. Just before we start, thank you, thank you very much for your support in the previous couple of videos. It's honestly it's been immense. Um, I started this channel less than a week ago and we are already on 24 subscribers. That means a lot to me. And because of that, today I have decided to start a brand new series. The series I'm going to start is going to be a 50 to 500 pound challenge. And the whole point of this challenge is to raise some funds so that I can invest back into the channel and improve my camera, get a tripod, get a new pair of lights as well so then the video quality can improve. And also, if we do make it to the 500 pound challenge benchmark, there will be a 50 pound giveaway as well to you guys for your support. And all you have to do is at any point in the series, comment on one of the videos of whatever you'd like and you'll get automatically entered into the giveaway however the more times you comment on different videos the more um entries will be added on for example if there's 10 episodes and you comment on all the 10 episodes there'll be 10 entries if you comment only two of the 10 episodes there will only be two entries so make sure you go into the comments and comment give me some some criticism you know what can i improve i would like to hear that stuff so yeah also as you know as i said earlier there will be a 50 pound starting challenge so that for this challenge alone we're gonna be on william hill just because i do use bet365 for my daily bets and i don't want to be um mixing the two up already um as i do different bets so yeah, as you can see there's a balance of 50 pounds um one of the rules that I'm going to do as well is that what I was speaking to people about earlier when I was talking about all my tips and you know what you should do when you start betting is that I can only bet 10% of my stake on a single bet. So if I pick two or three teams, teams in my accumulator, that means I can, the maximum I can stake with £50 in my budget is £5. If I have £100, that means £10, £20. Um, central pounds means 20 pounds do you get what i mean 10 percent of my current budget so as you, as you saw i did have flash score up and i was looking at some games and i feel like this sheffield united against newcastle game newcastle have been in bad form but when i watched them against arsenal in the fa cup they didn't look too bad at all and as you can see from the head to head statistics on newcastle have won the last two games quite comfortably by the looks of the stats and then when I go on to have a look on William Hill, they do look quite overpriced at, at 3.4. So what I feel like just to be as a safe bet, what I'm going to do is let me get rid of that. Okay, oh you see the odds are already dropping for them. What I'm going to do is let's go down, let's find where is mm -mm -mm, go with my odds. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the bet, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so welcome back. There you go. I finally found it. So, yeah, Newcastle or a draw or a draw and or Newcastle win is 1.57, which I feel like is good. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine that as a two-game accumulator with, with, with Dundee United against St. Johnston. I saw someone tweet out earlier on a tweet that Dundee was finally overpriced and yeah, having a looking at the statistics, it does look like, you know, yeah, neither team have been on a good form at all, but you know, they are up in the league and when you look at the head-to-head -head stats as well, it's either draw and done some win, so it has been quite good. So I feel like one of the as well on this one is go with a draw or Dundee to win. So yeah, let's find that. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so yeah, welcome back. There you go, draw on our way win. Let me just double check, make sure. Oh no, it's draw, it's home win or draw. There it is. And that gets us the odds up to 2.83. So yeah, Newcastle or draw, Dundee United or draw. And due to your rules, there we are, 10% bet. So it's 14 pounds and 14 pence so yeah there you go that's going to be a first bet now a second bet is going to be a game on the wolves against everton 
I feel like technically this game, the past few, the past couple games have had loads of goals in it. As you can see here, and as you can see in this process, I'm showing you how I do. Well, not, not I've done some research before, but this is the kind of the main stats I look at. Now I look at the head to head. I look at the current form. For example, I'm, if I'm betting on goals, here you can see that all of the games till until this one ten years ago, pretty much had more than um, three or more goals in it. Then when I look at the head to head stats as well, you can see Wolves haven't really been scoring, but Everton neither have Everton. So you know. One one fixtures tell me that yes, there should there should be three goals, but then the head to head fixtures tell me that there might be two. So what I'm going to do is just to be on the safe side, is I'm actually going to go to goals. I'm going to well, I'm going to find it. Total goals over one point five. Going to go with that, and then a second bet is going to be a two um game acca. It's going to be the AC Milan Torino game. There has been loads of cards, loads, loads, and loads of cards in the head-to-head -head stats. As you can see here, the last game they played, both teams getting booked at least twice, loads of cards in the first half. Same with the game before that as well. Loads of yellow cards again. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go for, when we find it, we're going to go to football. There we are. Also, this is I know this is the FA Cup game for them, or the Italian Italian Cup, or whatever they call it. And you're gonna build our own odds. We're gonna ignore corners. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with AC Milan over one card, over more, more than one card, and then both teams to combine. There we are. And what we can do actually, we're gonna add. There you go, that's our boost up nice and so yeah, as you can see. So total cards first half, one or more cards, then our one or more cards for Milan and more than one card, one or more cards for for Torino. That's the one. Oh god, this tug is on my tongue. So yeah, now technically I can see we only have us 10% of our stake, we only have um, forty-five pounds, which technically means it should be at four pound fifty stake. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the stake we had at the start of the video, and we're going to go from there. So it's still going to be five pounds. But you know, if these both bets lose, touch wood, it doesn't, and they shouldn't, the next video will start obviously with a four pound bet instead. But yeah, so those are the bets, and yeah, so I know the one of these is about to kick in seven minutes. So as you can see here. My bets. Those are the two bets. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll be back for episode two. But yeah, guys, let me know what I can do to improve this series. Let me know if there's anything you would do differently. So yeah, thank you for watching. Castle decided to get a place and off just before the half time. I think it was Ryan Fraser to go the second yellow card. So yeah, unfortunately then they received they got a penalty for a handball and Billy Sharp scored. So a Sheffield United game. Newcastle, yeah, ended up in a loss, I guess, and yeah, so yeah, that bet loses. But luckily for us, the other bet did win, and we got a £9.63 return. We pretty much put us in a same in a in the same position as when we started. Although I did already place a bet for the NBA game, so as you can see on the screen here, we got Miami Heat, Denver Nuggets, and. At Los Angeles Lakers games with some overs. I just had to see, yeah, as you can see, yep, 10% stake. And yeah, hopefully they return the winner. But this is going to be the end of the first episode. So I will see you in episode two of 50 to 500 pound challenge. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the second video.